How's it going, everyone? Uh, the last uh, video I posted of uh, working on one of these little mini cassette players. Doesn't play the mini cassettes, but it, it's a, uh, well, just a, a mini cassette player. Uh, this one has a radio. But anyway, it was, that one got a lot of views and everybody seemed to enjoy that one. So I figured, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I picked up not one, not two, but three more of these little guys to work on. And hopefully by now you have you've seen the one that I got in the mail to work on too. And that one's up and running. Uh, this one may come out before that one, so we'll see. See what happens. I'm waiting on parts for the other one. But yeah, this is a little Panasonic FM AM stereo radio cassette player. Uh, model... Oh, what the heck? Model number RQ-V51. And we are going to see if we can't get this little guy working as well. Now, there's one problem with this I already know of is it's got goo coming out of the battery battery container and there was no batteries in it when I got it so somebody took them out before they got rid of it so we're gonna have to get make sure that this acid or whatever it is out of those batteries isn't down inside before we put batteries in it and try and try and turn it on excuse the paint I was over uh, today painting over at the store so I have paint on my hands so this is, these are nice little uh, AM FM or FM AM stereo radio cassette uh, this doesn't have a speaker so this one we will have to test with hmm interesting so we'll have to test this one with headphones so I'm going to get you spun around and get you over here where I'm standing and we are going to get to get this opened up and for starters we need to see what what's going on with this door and we need to get to all this acid cleaned out of it and off of it before we put batteries in it and see if it works so let's get started and see if we can't make this little guy work all right, uh, looks like to start with we need a Phillips. Uh, I'm out of parts tray, so I have a little container here. I got too many projects going, and all my magnetic parts trays are for parts that are not magnetic. So, we'll just have to use a little cup. You don't want to plug these in, or plug them in. Yeah, you don't want to plug them in. You don't want to put batteries in them if there's a tall tale sign of acid, you know, with leaked, leaked out. Uh, you want to make sure that it's not on the circuit board. If it is, got to clean it off, because that's just a, a pathway for for electric, for current to move through, and that's not good. Let's see, there's, I think there's one more under, let's see, lock release. I think there's one more under the clip. Up, or or do you push down? You push down. Yep. Nope. That is not a screw. And that looks like just plastic. Let me look real quick. Nope. That's just a 
just a dimple from the mold. Okay, so we got those four. There's one, two, three, four. There's none inside the battery holder. So it should. <coughs> it should. <coughs> come apart. Okay. Nothing. I don't see anything in the battery. Let's see, is there something under you? Little foam guy is. Oh, nasty. Uh, let's see. I don't want to start prying on anything until we make sure that we have all the screws. No, nothing down in there. That's still bugging me there. Okay. Wonder if it has clips. Don't make it easy. Door have to be open. There's something right, right there. Is that a clip? clips here and here and I popped them didn't break them just popped them this this board Doesn't look like there's any acid on it. The antenna up there coming out with it. And do we have a even have a belt on it? wires that goes to the switch. There we go. Open her up just a little bit more. What do we hung up? Oh, motor wires. But yeah, this has two belts on it. They're both intact. I don't 
don't see any physical caps that are puking. have any acid on the board so it looks like it was caught in time okay I am going to yeah let's let's clean those contacts a little bit just so we can see if we get any life out of this thing because there's <laughs> It's together enough. I don't know. If, can we, nope. I had to go wash my hands because my my fingertip we're starting to burn a little bit and and then I got to thinking well you know maybe you should clean that circuit board so we we know that there is no acid on it I got I'm just gonna use contact cleaner and we're going to hose him down right around where the battery trying to keep it off the belt because I don't think it would like it we may have to change them anyway and I'll try and stay away from the tuner as well I didn't. I hit the tuner head on. But, you know, hey, whatever. It'll be fine. Okay, <clears throat> I am going to take some, take my compressor, take some compressed air and blow that guy out <clears throat> and make sure I got everything out of it. Before, and then, at least this way, we can and I'll wash wash that thing up and at least that way we can put the cover back on it and um, put batteries in it and see if it does work or if it works great then what we'll do is we'll pull it back apart and we'll put new belts on it Uh, so while I was blowing it off, I blew one of the belts off of it. <laughs> you can you can see it right there. It's the top belt that goes to the motor. So do we try and fish that on so we can test it? 
as we go ahead and tear it down and put, put new belts on it and hope it works. Yeah, I'm with you. I say we put the belt back on it and I say we put the belt back on it and see if we can test it. I know it's going to be going to be kind of a pain because I'm definitely not going to do both belts like like this. The other one goes under. Okay. Let's Let's first see if we can get it down on. I know you can't see. I can barely see. Come on, you ignorant little dude. Okay. I got it fished down through there. Now, we need to... There. I just want to see if it works before I start tearing it apart. If it works and we know all we need to do is put, put belts on it. But if it doesn't want to power up or anything then, then we know we have other issues. Okay, that's, we need a little silver screw, Oops. he goes, is it there? There or there? I don't think that was it. Nope. Sure. That's better. Okay, unfortunately we're gonna have to put the put the case back on it. Alright, let me go grab the case. I washed it up as well. Where's those clips? Those clips are right up front. Like so. That's pretty easy. Goes back together easy. Uh, let's see. Forward. Okay, volume. I know what we 
are going to need. Let's see, it's on tape, so that would be off. Let me, let's see, what do I, what do I have? These were good headphones at one time. Dynamic stereo. What the hell did somebody do to these things? There we go. Okay, headphones. Let's turn the volume all the way up. Not very good um, reception, but it is the radio is working now. And why do I always want to open this thing up the wrong way? Oops. Slides in. Okay. There. Play. Oh, I did see it move. did see it move a little bit and see if we can both see it yeah there it goes definitely needs belts okay we know it works Now we need to put belts on it because it was definitely struggling. Okay, remember where those clips were? We're on the front side here. There was right there. Okay, turn on the soldering station. Uh, where's that? There it is. I mean, that wasn't too bad putting that top belt on, but I'm not about to uh, I'll try and fish that other one. I want to know about this door. Is there something broke? Or that seems kind of cheesy to be like that. Yeah, once we get this all laid open, uh, we can 
and we can check it and see what the heck's going on there. So, let me let my soldering station heat up. Okay, let's get those two two brown wires here unsoldered. Hold on. Dirty tip. Now those are both brown, so I'm guessing it doesn't matter which way they go back on, but we'll put a little kink in that one. We know that one's the bottom one. Now we should be able to open this guy up and lay him open, like so. Everything looks good. We got everything cleaned up. Okay, we need that guy. And I need a, I need a poker. I don't know where the one is I normally use. This one will work. It's got a nice little hook on it. We can just unhook him. Take him off. Those both look like they're about the same size. Let's see what we have for belts. We need some small, small thin ones. I got flat there. They are. Uh, let's. We need two of them. A little smaller would be would be better. same size and that's a flat belt there's a nice little yeah I like that like that one let me see if I got another one just like it that one's a little that's a little bigger find another one about that one that's a flat belt as well these are you know they're kind of nope those are squares Looked flat to me, but no, nope, they're square belts. See, you want them a little, little smaller than what you took off because they're going to be all stretched out. Let's get rid of those. There we 
we got to go underneath. Perfect. Okay, we'll get our We wanted to look at that door. And see if there was actually something broke or missing. Or is that just the way it is? Yeah, nothing broke. It's just the way it is. Okay. But at least we we know now.
that one's up in the air a little too high. That's better. Okay, put our make sure our wires down where it belongs, wraps around that screw post. Radio. It never did have very good reception. Okay, radio works. Now it's playing. Alright, she's playing. I am going to... You've watched me do this before, but I don't think you're going to be able to see me doing it on this one, but I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and clean the head on it. I had to take the batteries out because the only way I can get access to it is by taking the batteries out and putting it in play putting it in play or how about just push and play and then the head comes up and then I can get at it same as always we're just gonna get in here with, an, with some alcohol on a on a steak and we're just going to clean him up. You would think these ones would get pretty dirty. You know, because you're carrying them around outside a lot. So they would definitely pick up a lot of dirt.
Okay, I need to find a different pair of headphones. Those sound pretty crappy. I don't know if it's the headphones or the, the cassette player. So let me find a different set of headphones. All right, found a little better, little set of little better set of headphones. Some Optimus Pro 25s. And. And she's working. Okay, what I'm going to do is I got the battery door on it. We'll put our belt clip on it. And I'm going to let it play. And if everything's okay, which it seems to be, We'll come back and finish up. Okay, I went with a with another set of headphones. Uh, these Optimus, I think, are more for computer. They have a volume control, and it just wasn't wasn't loud enough, like it you know, like it should be. Uh, so I had a pair of Motorola's. Yeah, dead battery. So I, I put these ones on and these little Motorola's and they are they sound pretty good but she's working but it, it it's slow I changed batteries, put new batteries in it, and uh, tried three different cassettes in it, and they all, uh, Pat Benatar sounds like a guy, and Led Zeppelin, he, he sounds like he's got a mouth full of, you know what. So we're going to, we're going to have to rebuild this little guy, we're going to have to put, uh, recap it and see if we can get all the voltages back that's usually normally the problem it's working but the um the caps are leaking and they're not producing enough elect enough voltage for it to run like it should but that will be in another video this one has been long enough uh at least you got to see that we how to change how to change the belts on one of these and clean them up and get them working it works just not right so in the next video on this little Panasonic uh, Panasonic what the hell was the model number again okay, I can't remember nothing RQ-V51 uh, we will be rebuilding recapping the little board in it doesn't that sound like fun? So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you enjoy these types of videos because I have more of this stuff coming up. And if you like it, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And I will bring you more content by ringing the bell and getting notification of new videos coming out. So until next time, See ya.